Hello friends, my name is Habib. Today we are going to learn how to create a moving train using HTML and CSS. So first, open up VS Code, or oh, that's what I would say normally. For this video, I am going to be using a text editor called Sublime Text. So now, if you want to download Sublime Text, open up your browser, search for Sublime Text, go to the official website link and then click on Download for Windows. So anyways, now click on file, open folder, go to documents, then create a new folder, name it train, so now in the new folder, click on file, new file, Control S to save it and then write index.html. So this is the HTML file, file, new file, control S, index.css. Now sublime text, write HTML and click on here. Sublime text doesn't have any HTML5, but this is an alternative to HTML. So anyways, open up your browser, and then search for image of cartoon train, go to images, tools, and then transparent or you could just if you see this result then click on it Cop copy image save image as download and save it as trade now you can also click on color transparent and then select any train you want as long as it's transparent. Also write image of cartoon train tracks. Tools transparent. Now scroll down. Scroll down until you find the perfect image. I am going to use this one. I am going to use this one. Now right click on it and click on save image as. And name it tracks.png. Save. There we go. Now in your browser, press Ctrl O. Locate your folder and click on here. If it has the setting on it, then that means this is a CSS file. Just hover over it to know what it is. If it says if it says cascading style sheet document, then that means it's a CSS file. So anyways, open up your HTML file. The icon is going to be different depending on what browser is your default browser. So anyways, now that we've got this done, write ing source is equal to. Now currently we don't have any images to put into the ing. So go here. 
document train and then paste everything close and then write train dot png now you see we have this very big train copy it paste it instead of writing train dot png write tracks dot png now we have these train tracks now give this an id of train and this an id of tracks So anyways, so anyways, now we save this, and if we reload it, it's going to do nothing unless we use CSS with it. So anyways, now right, width equals 700px. 700 height equals like 400 now you see that the train is pretty flat so i'm going to reduce the height to 300 looking just perfect now in the css file right? hashtag tracks position absolute z index minus one now you see that this does nothing because i have not linked the html file to the css now you can just write link that's going to fit the rest for you so now change this href to index.css now we've got it working So anyway, write hashtag train animation move 10 seconds infinite is in out is in out. So what this does is that it is going to play an animation called move for 10 seconds. And it is going to loop infinitely with an easing of ease in out. So we are right at keyframes. Move from to. So that means it's just going to, at the beginning of the animation, it is going to be like whatever it's in this bracket. And the end of the animation is going to be like whatever in these what are in these back brackets. Now right. Transform translate x minus 1700px to transform translate x minus 1700px. 1700px. Save reload. Now you can see that the train is uh, going backwards, but we don't want the train to go backwards, so just reverse these values. And now the train starts from here. Chugga 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 choo choo. So we don't want this, so let me just reload the page. We don't want this scroll bar to be here. So if you want to move the scroll bar, then right. Body overflow X. Overflow X Hidden. So now there is no scroll bar to spoil our animation But this is only going to remove the scroll bar on here 
it is not going to remove the vertical scroll bars so anyways this track is just lying here uselessly so let's change that now in this hashtag tracks right, top 35% now you see it is way down over here change the width to something like 1500 px it's 1500 and the height to something like 200 well now that we've got this big railroad also right right zero percent which we're going to place it all the way over here. Change the top to something like 30%. If we reload, now you see that the train tracks are perfectly realigned, aligned with the train. 35%. Chugga 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 chill chill. So, anyways. Now you can change these values to your liking, depending on where you want the train tracks to be. So anyways, now that I've got this, I am also going to search for a background for it. I'll write background of house. Now it's going to give you all of these images, but just remember you can use whatever background you want. So anyways, now choose one of the backgrounds, so I'm going to choose this, this one, right click on it, save image as the nodes and then name it house real quick let me just download another one in case the other one doesn't work Anyways, open up your file explorer, go to downloads, copy both of these, more like cut them, go to documents, locate your folder, paste them, along with all the others, close, now write, not only do you have to write overflow x hidden, also write, background image url, house.webp now you see that we have this beautiful image of a house now that we have this beautiful image of a house it's uh, a bit big so right background size cover which makes it so that the background image is just going to cover the screen and for the train I want to change its position so if I want to change the position right, position absolute and I can change the position to something like top 50% See, now that I've done that, I can change the railroad position to top 65%. Put 
perfect. Anyways, that is it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel, Obacode. Bye!